I-16 Property, Plant and Equipment Major Inspections This is a summary of the total content of I-16. Accounting treatment comprises recognition, measurement and disclosure. This presentation focuses on recognition and specifically subsequent recognition. Cost incurred to replace components and for day-to-day -day servicing were addressed in a previous presentation. This presentation focuses on costs incurred for major inspections. Paragraph 14. A condition of continuing to operate an item of PPE may be performing regular major inspections for faults regardless of whether parts of the item are replaced. When each major inspection is performed, its cost, the cost incurred, is recognized in the carrying amount of the item of property, plant and equipment. How? As a replacement. If the recognition criteria are satisfied. Any remaining carrying amount of the cost of the previous inspection is derecognized. So what do we need to note? First of all, first thing, the type of cost we refer to in this example is for a major inspection, which is a condition of continuing to operate the PPE item. Without the inspection, the item cannot operate and there will be no future economic benefits. It refers to regular major inspections. Then you can capitalize this cost and recognize the cost as PPE. But to prevent overstatement, you have to derecognize the cost of the previous inspection. So far, very similar to the cost incurred to replace a component. And that's why paragraph 14 says, treat this major inspection as a replacement. Reading on, this occurs. And what do we mean by this? What is the this that this paragraph is referring to? This derecognition. Number four, occurs regardless of whether the cost of the previous inspection was identified in the transaction in which the item was acquired or constructed. If necessary, the estimated cost of a future inspection may be used as an indication of what the cost of the existing, ex existing inspection component was when the item was acquired or constructed. So this bottom part is quite important as it prevents an entity from overstating its property, plant and equipment item. In summary, subsequent expenditure costs incurred on a major inspection. Two things happen. You recognize the cost of the new inspection in the carrying amount of the PPE item as a replacement. That's your key. Secondly, you derecognize the remaining carrying amount of a previous inspection. So thus far, the treatment is exactly the same as where you incur costs to replace a component. What makes it a little bit more involved is where you now incur inspection costs for the first time and you didn't identify this inspection component on day one when you recognize this PPE item. Then paragraph 14 says, you still derecognize a deemed carrying amount based on the cost of the new inspection. 